Welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. I am Stefan. This is sad breaking news. Uh, coming in right now to my desk, legendary crooner Tony Bennett has passed away at the age of 96 years old. It just came in right now. I woke up getting ready to do some edits for you guys and um, just coming in at the moment. So I think right now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Tony Bennett and uh, we're going to light a candle and put it up right now for him. So in the meantime, subscribe, chat with me if you'd like. Put your comments down below in the comments. Your favorite song of Tony Bennett. Let's talk about it right now. Let's talk about the legacy of Tony. It all starts now. Don't touch that dial. All right, everybody, welcome back. I am Stefan. You're an artist on record and just coming into my desk, legendary singer. Tony Bennett has passed away at the age of 96 years old. This just came in from my buddy. Um, he actually texted me right in the morning. You might know who he is. Uh, legend drummer Tommy Clifford is Ozzy Osbourne. He had broke the news to me via text. Very sad. And uh, thank you, Tommy, for uh, sharing this news with us right now. But as um, I'm here with you guys and you guys are here with me, we're going to talk about Tony. And uh, let me check your comments down below. If you're a member, um, I will pop you up right here. Always good to see you guys here. And um, thank you for joining. Uh, new, new latest members in our members only club, uh, Deb Jackson, uh, Kid, thank you all. And also thank you, Debbie Moller, for getting the troops all together with us here in members only but in the meantime we are discussing tony bennett legendary singer had passed away uh, according to his publicist sylvia weiner uh, she had put the news out there that he had passed away at the age of 96 years old uh songwriter numerous classic american stanzas uh, standards are dead according to his publicist i mean he was really last of the mohicans i don't know where to begin with this one uh, TMZ had posted a picture of him right before his birthday right here. I'll pop this up for you guys. Right there. I was taken on July 8th, 22. And um, for 96 years old, I got to tell you, he looks great. Look at him. He's dressed like an OG. Cool sweats. Nice shirt. You know, in Manhattan, strolling around with his help. But at that age, 96, looks great. As we all know, Tony had battled uh, Alzheimer's disease. He was first diagnosed in uh, nine, in 2016. Yeah, he was first tw in 20 in the year 2016. But Tony, uh, he set a standard for American crooners with timeless hits, like 1962 classic. How could you not forget I left my heart in San Francisco? And also, to the fans of today, people like Lady Gaga, giving him respect. And then Frank Sinatra, the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, released more than 70 albums over a career that spanned seven decades. In seven decades, he earned 19 Grammys. Then he recorded with Lady, Gra with, with Lady Gaga, uh, who admired him personally and professionally. I'm just getting my head together here. And uh, again, I got to give a shout out to my buddy, Tommy. Tommy, thank you for sharing the news and letting me know about this so I could share it here on Artist on Record. And that's uh, Tommy over there. So I gave him a little props up there. But yeah, this is coming in right now. So um, if you're here with me, thanks for being in here. And um, always good to see you people here in the chat. And uh, put your comments down below. Tell me your favorite song of Tony Bennett. Love to hear what you have to say over here. Um, but yeah, this was the most recent picture. This was taken from TMZ. I took that from just to share that with you to show that he still looked good. His last public appearance came with Lady Gaga at Radio City Music Hall. And I believe that was in August 2021, this photograph. That's two months before his last release. That was the Bennett uh, Lady Gaga set Love for Sale. And uh, I guess the sequel to the Chart topping 2014 work together cheek to cheek. I wish I could play you guys some music from Tony here. Um, let's see, he'll three years earlier he topped the charts with duets too, featuring work with uh Carrie Underwood, Amy Winehouse, and her last studio recording. I don't know if you remember that one, but yeah, put Amy for her last studio recording. So, um, who's here today? I don't see anybody's chats there, but uh, just if you're there. 
Always love to see what you have to say. And uh, uh, JD, JD, Tony Bennett was a well-known singer in my ba- in in my time back in '76 and onwards. Well, also, how could you not forget the movie Goodfellas, Rags to Riches, the opening track? Well, Tony Bennett brought a lot of great memories to us and our families. One of the last of the Mohicans, a real true crooner, right here, Tony Bennett. Bennett passed away at the age of 96 years old. Sad. Sad. I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around it. I wake up to the sad news. You know, what, what you, how do you even act? How do you even uh, supposed to supposed to even be here? But if you're tuning in, this is Artist on Record. Breaking news coming in about Tony Bennett passing away. Um, Anthony Dominic Benedito was born August 3rd, 1926. It looks like here. So he was about to have a birthday. So I fixed that. He didn't have a birthday. He was shy of having his birthday. So let's correct me right here. I know somebody else right here on YouTube will correct me. This is what happens when you go live. You make errors. You make mistakes, you know. But let me read over here a little bit with you guys. Yeah, he was August 3rd. So he was about to have his birthday. Just shy of it. And uh, for all you people out there born in August, you Leos, happy birthday to you guys. If you share a birthday with Tony Bennett, make sure yet you're a part of your playing some Bennett. What can I tell you? Born in St. John's Hospital, Long Island City, Queens. That's right. Yeah, so in the meantime, Bennett grew up. I'll tell you what he listened to as a kid growing up. Since we can't bring him on the show, let's share some of his stories. Tony Bennett grew up listening to people like Al Jolson, Eddie Cantor, Judy Garland. And Bing Crosby, such as such jazz artists as Louis Armstrong, and uh, his uncle was a tap dancer. I'll say his uncle's name, but I'm gonna call him Richard. I'm not gonna make it short here. You know why? Because if I could make it short here, you might take it like I'm trying to say one of your body parts. But no, his name was Richard. Don't get me started, people. And Richard was a tap dancer in vaudeville, and uh, given him an early window into show business his uncle frank was the queen's borough library commissioner and by the age of 10 he was already singing and performing at the opening of the triborough bridge standing next to the mayor laguardia who patted him on the head that's right laguardia if you guys don't know that there's an airport named after him or was i'm here to tell you some facts okay learn something this morning with your coffee hang with me Talk with me. And by the way, have you subscribed to the channel yet? Oh, no. That's right, you crazy guys out there. Breaking news. Jump on here. Here somebody dies and already you're on my channel. All right. But this is sad breaking news. Last of the Mohicans. Tony Bennett. Dead at 96 years old. What do you even say about this? It's awful. Sad. You know? Jumping on here. Now, everybody, get your boxes out there. Not your shine box. Tissues. Light a candle. Pay the guy some respect. He's great. I left my heart in San Francisco. How could you not even... Come on. Rags to riches. Debbie Muller, there you are. See, she's sad. Debbie. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. Debbie, thank you for being here. That's, that hand clap is for you. Thank you for your support. I love you, Debbie. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this, Debbie. I promise. You're going to have other YouTube channels out here talking about Tony Bennett. And they're going to get a serious face. Tony Bennett passed away. But, but, but. You don't have to get so sad and serious, everybody. It's going to be okay. I'm here just to celebrate his life with you guys. We're going to celebrate it. We're not going to get sad. I'm going to get mopey. He's Tony Bennett. He lived a good life. The guy lived a good life. What was that other situation? He had a situation too. Tony Bennett, hey, he had shenanigans. Remember, there was a lady that was suing him, supposedly, you know, it was like some herpes rumor story. I, I I don't know. I'm not here to talk bad about him. He's not here to defend himself. I'm not going to talk bad about you know, man passing. He's a legend, but he's a man. He had a situation, and he's Tony Bennett singing out with Chairman of the Board. What do you think they were talking about and doing? They had a good life. He had a good life, everybody. That's right. Wasn't messing around. Well, maybe he was messing around. That's why a woman was going after him. Or maybe she was angry. And who knows what went on in his personal life. But I do know one thing. Tony Bennett in 1949, this is what I know. Pearl Be- Burley, Be- Bailey, can't even talk. Hold on. 
she recognized his his talent. She did. That's right, Pearl Bailey. She recognized his talent and asked him to open for her in Greenwich Village. She had invited Bob Hope to the show. Hope decided to take Tony on the road with him. And uh, that's where they wanted to make his name. From Benedito, Benedetto, however you pronounce it. I don't know. But you know him. And Bob Hope helped him change it and make it simple. For a guy like me who can't pronounce his real name, they called him Tony Bennett. So I got to tell you something. Hey, Bob, you're not here either. Crazy guy. Well, Pearl, but thank you for changing his name because I, if he would have passed away today with that original name, I would have had a hard time pronouncing it. But anyway, thank you very much. In 1950, Tony Bennett cut a demo of Boulevard of Broken Dreams and was signed to a major Columbia Records label by Mitch Miller. That's right. Now, Mitch Miller said, Tony, do me a favor. I don't want you to imitate Sinatra. Don't do it. So he was warned by Miller not to imitate Sinatra. Bennett began his career as a crooner of commercial commercial pop tunes. And his first big hit was Because of You, a ballad produced by Miller. What a beautiful orchestra arrangement from Percy Faith. Started out gaining, becoming a popular through jukeboxes. Then reached number one on the pop charts in 1951 and stayed there for 10 weeks, selling over a million copies that was followed to the top of the charts later that year by uh, Hank Williams, Cold, Cold Heart, which helped introduce Hank Williams and country music in general to a wider, more national audience. That's right. So there you go. A little a little in the third one. Uh, we can't forget the third one. Let's talk about the third one. 1953, one of my favorite songs. That's right. Rags to Riches came out. Unlike Bennett's other early hits, that was an up-tempo big band number with old brassy sound and double tango in the instrumental break. It topped the charts for eight weeks. Eight weeks. Tony Bennett, I'm going to miss you. I love your music. It's great. It's great over there. Let me go to the comments, see who's writing to me. If you want to write some comments here, please do so. Cindy, thank you for the super chat. Mwah. Thank you so much. So sad. Such an amazing artist. I appreciate the super chat. Always good to see it, people here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. Mwah. Thank you, Cindy. Very sad. An amazing artist. One of the best. One of the best. Most recently, and I made a mistake in the beginning, so somebody who tuned out is going to yell at me. But yeah, his birthday wasn't in July. I'm sorry. My birthday was July. My birthday. This is, you know, I got, I got my, maybe I have all time. But he had it. He was dealing with it for a while. But he still looked good. And here's a picture of him right before he passed away. One of the last pictures was taken on July 8th, 22. Thank you, TMZ, for the picture. He still looks like a Don. I got to hand it. Picture's so cool, I want those sweatpants. The guy looks great. A million bucks. A million bucks there. Well, it's great to see you ladies here. Thank you for being here. Debbie Muller, I hope you're okay. Yeah, Debbie's probably at work. Cindy, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for being here. Uh, body and soul. What are you going to play today? Put your comments down below. Tell me what Tony Bennett song you're going to play today. Want to know? Want to hear it? Also, I want to thank Tommy Clefettis for breaking the news today. Making me fix my wig, get my life together, and make a cup of coffee. Tom, Tommy's one who told me about breaking news. Uh, so I got, without him, there'd be no shows. Going to edit some shows. But in the meantime, um, in Patreon, in members only, thank you for being a member. Whoever is a member here, I appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. YouTube's algorithm, it's like changing. So I'm sorry we're not doing more live shows for you guys. I know you guys love it. But um, we do have a members only club. And I'm doing more live shows there, unedited, unfiltered. Yesterday, we had Jackie the Jokeman from the Howard Stern Show in Patreon. VIP members only over here. You can join uh, for $9.99 a month. Be a part of the chat and support the show any way you can. Um, I'm putting all the full episodes there. But don't worry. For people who don't join, I'm still giving you guys stuff. We're putting clips out. It just gives me time to edit it. So in a crazy way, you get to see it nice and polished. Not raw and unfiltered and watch me stutter. But we'll be... Uh, Talking, uh, showing some stuff of Jackie the Jokeman and Coffee Talk, uh, Adika Live 
Sunday at 6 a.m. Every Sunday, 6 a.m., we do go on the air with the good old doctor talking about trending topics. And I'll be uh, airing some um, conversations with some celebrities like Jackie Jokeman there, uh, Ted Bundy's lawyer. And then we'll br be bringing you more music stuff here. And um, in the meantime, I'm Stefan. You guys are all beautiful. This is sad breaking news. But today we remember and we light a candle for Mr. Tony Bennett, who passed away at the age of 96 years old. True legend. True legend. And Lady Gaga, that album you did with him was great. Thank you. Thank you. She's another great talent. All right. In the meantime, kids, it's time to get your coffee. Start your day. Don't be sad. And if you need a cup, check out our merch store. We got plenty of nice stuff there. I am Adika. You're beautiful. And remember, who loves you, baby? We do. Now, start your day. And remember, who you woke up with and hung out with in the morning? Me, Stefan Adika. Catch you all later. <laughs>